Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi my loves, it's Destin Choice and you're watching Choice TV. So in today's video, I really want to get on here and talk about this disgusting restaurant that's currently getting a lot of backlash for serving unsanitary conditions. Now if y'all didn't know, there's this restaurant called Asahi located in North Fort Lauderdale. And basically the restaurant's getting a lot of backlash because people are pissed as fuck at how disgusting it is that there's roaches everywhere, there's mildew built up, there's shit in the sink, there's bugs, roaches, moldy shit everywhere. And people are very pissed off because the health department actually let them reopen. He has a key. We saw him open up the place. And someone at a neighboring business says he is the man. The place, Asahi Chinese Restaurant. It is at 8152 West McNabb Road. It's in North Lauderdale. A state inspector recently found 19 violations here and ordered the place shut. The floor is as sticky as can be. There's an ant right there. I wonder if they ever clean this floor. It's disgusting. On top of the sticky floor inside the kitchen, what appears to be breading left in a bin overnight on the floor, and obviously that would attract pests. Remember, we showed up when they first opened for the day, and this is also after they apparently cleaned up and were allowed to reopen after the state ordered them shut. This place was dirty, man. Yeah, you're the boss. You have the key. Sir, sir, you have the key. You're the manager. Dude, you're going to call your lawyer? Why are you going to call your lawyer? This place was dirty. It was ordered shut by the state. According to the recent inspection that led to their ordered closure, the inspector says there was a sink full of gray water backup full of food debris that had an odor. There was a roach issue, a fly issue. There was a stop sale ordered on raw chicken, ribs, beef, pork tenderloin. All were being stored improperly. They were operating without a license. There was slime on a countertop cutting board. A sewage-like smell coming from a sink that is supposed to be used to clean things. Go up. You ever clean the floor? Yeah, the, the, you, do, do, you, do you ever mop the floor? Every day. No, you don't. This floor? Frank, take a look at this. I asked him if he mopped his floor. He said every day. Take a look at this. Disgusting. And take a close look at this spot behind the restaurant where used cooking oil is stored. We certainly hope these discarded buckets aren't taken into the restaurant kitchen. Now, this isn't the first time they've been shut down before, but they've been able to reopen due to the fact that they passed a inspection. And this is just the shit that they basically were able to get away with that allowed them to reopen. Now, let me just start by saying that Chinese food does not have the best reputation. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I've been guilty of saying they out here feeding us cats, rats, and shit, and roaches and shit, because truth be told, they really are sometimes. Now, let me just start by saying that Chinese restaurants don't have the best reputation for a reason. As you guys know, I even did a video going to the Rush Review Chinese restaurant. Right here. Ugh, disgusted. The bathroom was disgusting. I feel like I was in a fucking crack house, trap house, brothel. I feel like the Asian bitch was probably slanging pussy in the bag. Like, it was just disgusting. There's dead bugs on top. Let me find they, they feed me rats. This shit is way too damn chewy. Why the hell does this barbecue sauce look like that? And a lot of people gave me a lot of backlash because people were like, oh, why would you say they're serving us rats and shit? That's racist. First of all, bitch, a lot of those stereotypes hold a lot of weight. You can usually tell a lot about a lot of restaurants just from how the bathroom looks. So one thing I always tell people this is if you ever go to a restaurant, always go to their bathroom if you're cautious or cognizant about eating there because the bathroom will tell you everything you need to know. On top of that, if you walk into a restaurant and the kitchen is right in front of you, and you can't smell nothing, that's usually a red flag because that means they're probably serving you old ass food that they're reheating and it's more than likely not fresh. On top of that, there's thousands of videos every single year on YouTube that get re-uploaded of a Chinese restaurant getting blasted for serving us rats and roaches and unsanitary conditions. This is nothing new. This happens all over the States. I don't know shit, you tell me. Look, I look like chicken. Come on, come on. Look at that, this is what they sold me. I look like chicken. They said it was fresh. It ain't chicken, this is what I'm saying. 
You know them Chinese and them the cook dog. You don't know Rasta. I'm telling everybody, these people are wicked. They're not selling chicken. They sell you food they don't eat. Oh, yeah. Bull's house. Bull's house. We finna get some money. We finna get some money, for real. Can you open it? What you scared for opening? Let me see. This don't make no sense. Wool's house. <gasps> oh my God! Yes, bro. Are you serious? Wow, I'm laughing right now. We gotta make this go viral. I swear, that is crazy. That's a real. That is a real rat. At Wool's house, like, are you serious? And I, I always order that. Wow. Oh, and you know what? It, it just went viral. Right around, let people see. Oh, oh, oh. Come oh, on, man. Dad. Come on, man. Cause for, don't why you do that. Oh my y'all, do not eat at Wu's house. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh my God. And there's a reason why Chinese food is so affordable. Chinese food is relatively affordable because there I say it, the shit is garbage. It's worse than soul food and it's worse than Mexican food. Mexican food will kill you and soul food will kill you, but at least the people who serve it will actually eat the food. The people who like make Chinese food and serve it to you and sell it to you, they don't ever eat that shit. You guys gotta ask yourself a quick question. You guys ever notice how when you go to a Chinese restaurant or a Chinese buffet, yeah, it's usually real cheap, but you ever notice that you never see other Chinese people at the Chinese restaurants? Think about it for a second. You never see Chinese people waiting in line to go get the Chinese restaurants. Always black folks, it's always white folks, Hispanics folks waiting in a long ass line to try that Chinese food, to, to, to try to get that damn General Tiso chicken, that beef and broccoli, that shrimp fried rice, that chicken fried rice. So the one thing I'll say is I don't really trust a lot of Chinese restaurants because of these particular reasons and it's, it's stuff like this that i see in these videos that make me as soon as i step into a restaurant i immediately walk out and remind myself to go look at their reviews i literally do this all the time i don't give a fuck if i'm in new york i'm in chicago i'm in nashville tennessee i'm in los angeles i don't give a fuck if i'm in dc if i walk into a restaurant and i don't have and i have no idea what their ratings are the reviews are i will literally stop myself walk out Look up their reviews and see what everyone else is saying because I'm not going to waste 60, 40, 70 bucks on food and a meal just to waste just to find out that the restaurant is disgusting. They got mold and shit because the health department allows restaurants like this to stay open. Videos like this are constantly going viral, but isn't it crazy how no matter what these Chinese restaurants just stay open? That sink, that sink is dirtier than the um, it's dirtier than the, the, the meat. It's going to be dirtier than if you wash it. This is outside, man. People come out there and piss and shit in that sink. That's not sanitary, man. They, I'm gonna call code enforcement. Anybody know what she's saying? Let me know. I'm finna wash my brushes. But why is the meat sitting in that nasty sink, though? Oh yeah, y'all is, cause I know that's what y'all y'all got noodles right there. Y'all got the meat on the floor in here. Why is you putting that meat? You gonna serve that meat to people? You need to take that to the dumpster right there. You need to take that meat and throw it away. Oh, you cooking that for people? Okay. I'm going to show y'all where we at, y'all. We right here. Uncle Poop, we live. I got my partner with me. We right here at the damn List Chinese Kitchen. Restaurant workers are actually shown cleaning what looks like an oven rack in the lake. They're actually scrubbing it there. And the restaurant's called Number One Chinese, and they're in number one trouble tonight with the Metro Health Department. News Sports Nancy Amons is live there with the latest. You have to see it to believe it. Restaurant workers scrubbing a greasy kitchen grate in Old Hickory Lake this morning. Manager on duty during that emergency closure. Did you know that you had any kind of rodent problem or roach problem? Yeah, I mean, sometimes we used to really have, I don't know, just uh, we call the uh, pest control. They, they've done a very nice job, so if they die anywhere, then they don't find anything. But our I team uncovering it wasn't the first time inspectors shut down the restaurant. A year and a half ago, the state closed Ho Ho's again for rodent activity after finding almost 200 rodent droppings in various parts of the kitchen. I don't know what this is. This is fish on the floor. We don't know if it was going to be cooked or used for sushi, but we do know it doesn't belong on a filthy, wet, 
greasy kitchen floor. We are in the kitchen at China Buffet at 11379 Bird Road. Inspectors recently found 110 violations here, and we saw some of the issues still exist. You have steak on the floor. Can you just take the steak off the floor? That bin of raw meat was very close to that piece of fish we found on the floor. No one could tell us what was in this sink in the dishwashing area. There are three full pages of violation after violation. Roaches near a sink and a food prep table, chicken, beef, pork, ham, dumplings, all out of temperature. The dish machine was not sanitizing. Food debris, encrusted materials, mold, grease was found on almost everything from ovens to the soda guns. There was evidence of an employee smoking in a food prep area. There was an objectionable odor in the kitchen. That could be coming from this bathroom that was in the kitchen. It was full of standing water and reeked of sewage. What in the world is going on here? The owner doesn't want to talk about it. Huh? No cameras. No cameras what? Don't, first of all, don't That's touch. The, first of all, do, first of all, don't touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. Talk to the attorney. Don't touch my camera. Don't touch. Don't touch my camera. Picture shows a restaurant employee cutting meat on the ground by the back door of the new China on New Hope Road in Lawrenceville. I don't know why he do that. We we confused too. You see, my door is always closed. And uh, when that day is he off day. I don't know why he come in my store. Management said the employee was preparing meat for his own consumption and has since been fired. We approach an open back door behind China Gourmet, a place ordered shut last week because of rodent issues. We go around the front to see if anybody there will answer our questions. You have to speak English to take orders. Yeah, it's shit like this that makes me contemplate going vegan. But long story short, let me just say that I'm not even going to hold them for eating rats and shit. Because at the end of the day, I be eating alligators and I like eating rabbits. And people think that I'm crazy as hell for doing it. So whatever floats their boat and coats their throat, it is what it is. I will however say that my main issue is just unsanitary conditions. And it's little shit like this that reminds me why a lot of people really are vegan. They stay open, they continue to be open, and then nothing ever really gets done. And it's crazy because people always say, oh, well, I don't go to that Chinese restaurant, I'll just go to the other one. Meanwhile, what your ass don't know is they probably own that one around the corner too. Or they probably own the other three all the, all the way across town. So that's why like, I'm very skeptical of a lot of Chinese restaurants because they themselves don't eat that food. So why the fuck would I want to eat some shit that you yourself wouldn't want to eat? And it's stuff like this that really reminds me why I like to eat at home because eating out has been relatively so expensive nowadays. There's no reason why I should be eating out and I'm paying like $70 for food. Like I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I go out to eat at a restaurant, I notice that I literally be spending like $70 on my meal and sometimes I don't even be getting shit. I'll get a salad, maybe some wings and some fries or I'll get a salad, a basic sandwich or a basic signature dish and then I'll pay like 75 bucks because I added a drink on top of my meal. And it's not racist to be skeptical of Chinese food because I'm not going to lie. One thing I'll say is a lot of people were very skeptical of Chinese food during the pandemic because as you guys know, we had this damn pandemic express that came out of nowhere and truth be told this shit really did come from china and people want to be like oh no it did listen i'm i don't blame people who are skeptical of eating chinese food i will say that a lot of these chinese folks don't give a fuck or they're usually very rude anytime you go to a chinese restaurant they have nasty attitudes they barely make eye contact they don't really talk to you that much they have nasty and stink attitudes and it's videos like this that should already tell you that this is where this stereotype comes from this stereotype doesn't wasn't just made out of thin air it's not just some shit you see in china on youtube videos but what's so crazy is people don't really Realize that Chinese food is cheap for a reason. A lot of the Chinese food that we eat is cheap because they got to keep property costs low. They got to keep value low so that way they can get good engagement. 
But the sad part is, most of us have been conditioned to believe, because we grew up eating Chinese food, that anything that says Chinese food is usually good. Oh, I love Chinese food, so it's all the same. No, Chinese food is not all the same. There are some Chinese restaurants that are good quality and, do, and that do serve good food and do have decent customer service. It's not even just the food. It's not even the fact that I'm worried about I'm, I'm going to get fed grasshoppers and crickets and roaches and rats and possums and shit, and I wanted to get some General Tiso chicken. Meanwhile, I got some squishy shit that don't even look like chicken. <laughs> It's not even that, but cheap doesn't always mean good, but people always make an exception for Chinese food, and that's why sometimes I'm always skeptical of it, because again, they themselves never eat that shit. When you watch their movies and TV shows, they be having assorted vegetables, they be having their little chopsticks, they be eating like assorted vegetables of an entree salad, and they be having nice little portion sizes, and they be having like grilled salmon, and they be having like grilled vegetables and pea pods and shit. They don't eat that shit they serve, because they know they can feed it to us and charge us like $30 for a meal, and guess what? We're gonna buy it because it's relatively cheap. Chinese food is convenient, but it's not always good. And that's why I always tell myself to always be skeptical of any Chinese restaurant I go into because I always see these videos going viral and they're going viral for a reason. This isn't going viral just because people want to be racist or prejudiced or xenophobic. And it's sad because I know people may, may disagree, but Jamaicans are known for having horrible customer service. Jamaicans are known for being nasty as fuck whenever they're taking your order. But Chinese people are way worse when it comes to taking your order and customer service. They're just a lot more subtle and a lot more rude about it and won't even make eye contact with you. At least a Jamaican will look you right in your eyes and say, we don't have that. We don't have it. But it's always difficult to stop supporting Chinese restaurants or Chinese businesses or Asian businesses in general, but Chinese restaurants as a whole, because a lot of them own most of the shit in New York. They own so much shit in New York. They own a lot of the real estate, a lot of the restaurants. They own a lot of the salons. The shops that we can go to that might do nails for like 80 bucks, 75 bucks, or where you could buy products for like 60 bucks, 80 bucks. Meanwhile, the little Chinese restaurant down the street or the Chinese shop down the street or the Chinese little furniture store right there probably will sell it to you for like $20 a piece or buy one, get one free. And I'm not gonna lie, I was the biggest advocate for if you don't wanna eat Chinese food because of the pandemic, you might gotta do some reevaluation. But one thing I will say is, if a lot of people don't wanna eat Chinese restaurants, this is more of a valid case. So that's why I kinda shy away from eating Chinese restaurants. You know, there's a reason why when you go to these Chinese buffets, they be charging like $20 per person. It'd be like that and it's cheap like that for a reason. And then that's why it's all you can eat. And that's typically why it's all you can eat because they got so much rats and roaches to give out that you might as well just grab a fucking dish and eat it. Bathrooms are usually the first indication to me if a restaurant is sanitary or not. Because if you can't take care of your bathroom, then more than likely, you can't take care of your kitchen. And if you can't take care of your kitchen, I'm not eating there. The minute I go into a restaurant and I smell that mildew smell or a dead rat, y'all know how a dead rat smells? Like, I'd be walking into restaurants sometimes and I'd be like, this shit smells like like sewage. It smells like shit in here. I'm not gonna eat that shit at all. I will literally walk right the fuck out and go to the next restaurant. But that's that for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please just let me know what you guys thought about this video. What y'all think about these restaurants? What y'all think about these Chinese restaurants? What are your experiences? How do y'all feel about these videos I showed y'all? These rats and this stereotype and the fact that people like think that it's xenophobic to be skeptical of Chinese food just because you see these videos going viral all the time. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. Cause love comes around, it comes around, and it knocks you down, just get back up, and it knocks you down, it knocks you down, sometimes love comes around, and it knocks you down, just get back up, and it knocks you down, knocks you down, knocks you down. Tell me what it happens Sometimes love comes around And it knocks you down Just get back up when it knocks you down